welcome to conversations i'm mukhtar khan and today uh, i'm taking this making a short video to basically talk about a specific episode of blasphemy that has taken place in pakistan apparently a chinese engineer who scolded two workers for taking too much time for prayer has been accused of committing blasphemy uh, and he had to be airlifted uh, out of uh, the factory uh, or the project where he was working near uh, uh, a dam construction uh, in khyber pakhtunkhwa uh, and he he was airlifted to abbottabad uh, to well he was arrested obviously to calm the public which had gathered around to essentially lynch him uh, and uh, obviously also to save him because i guess uh, the pakistani authorities were afraid that if they had left him there it's quite possible that the mob would go out of control and he would face um, the same fate uh, that a sri lankan had faced in pakistan in 2021 when he was lynched uh, and literally burnt uh, after he was accused uh, of committing blasphemy against prophet muhammad uh, peace be upon him uh, I think this is a serious matter. It is not just about an incident where a man is accused uh, of insulting Islam or the Prophet of Islam uh, as a revenge for scolding workers who were taking too much time uh, to pray. But I think that uh, the Chinese government probably is going to be very upset. Uh, already, there has been uh, uh, unhappy discussions between Pakistan and China about. Uh, the lack of security for chinese who are working in pakistan working on various projects so the chinese government has invested over 60 billion dollars or even more some estimates say it is getting close to 100 billion dollars in pakistan in cpac and other projects uh, and if this story gets out that uh, if you enforce the rules uh, if you demand people to work uh, on time they can simply turn around and accuse you of blasphemy and then apparently there are thousands of people in pakistan who have nothing to do except to go ahead uh, and act crazy and mad uh, and go and kill somebody on the mere uh, uh, accusation that the person has said something insulting uh, i don't understand how deeply pakistani population has been radicalized uh, that on one you know like you say chu and they all go and then just attack it's like uh, i i find it very bizarre that uh, a population is so ready to kill and murder uh, in the name of religion uh, one man once came to prophet muhammad peace be upon him and asked him uh, tell me one thing Uh, that will take me to heaven and prophet muhammad said don't get angry and the man then again asked him this question uh, give me one more thing uh, that will prevent me from going to hell and help me to get to heaven and prophet muhammad said don't get angry and the man asked this question several times and each time the prophet peace be upon him simply answered don't get angry anger is prohibited upon muslims and especially in the month of ramadan all those people who got angry if they were fasting their fast is broken i don't understand what kind of religion this is uh, and this is encouraged by the ulama the scholars uh, of pakistan who who think that the only way you can express uh, your love for the prophet is by trying to kill somebody in the most brutalist fashion uh, possible so i think it's important for pakistani leaders and pakistani government to really revisit this issue of blasphemy very seriously they cannot continue uh, to allow this to happen uh, if any company would ask me any non muslim company would ask me about investing uh, in pakistan and establishing businesses in pakistan i would say but first make sure that your staff is uh, guaranteed security uh, if you staff demands accountability if your staff demands anything uh, that the pakistani workers don't like they'll simply turn around and accuse you of blasphemy and then you are dead so i think this is a very serious matter especially at a time when pakistan desperately needs china's help to to get some uh, financial relief from imf uh, it needs china to roll over its loans it needs china to invest in pakistan it needs china to deposit some money in dollars in pakistan so so it can get uh, the relief that it's it is seeking from imf 
And Pakistan is not going to grow as an economy without uh, in increasing its uh, exports and increasing its international trade. And I, and I wonder who would want to do business with Pakistan if the Pakistani environment is so volatile, radical, and violent. So I hope the Pakistani government will really investigate this thoroughly and, and try to find out who was the person who started these false allegations and really prosecute them for the to the fullest extent of the law, whatever law they may have. Uh, but I must tell you this, this is not Islam. This is not what Prophet Muhammad taught Muslims. Uh, I hope the Pakistani scholars learn what is Islam. Uh, they want to be an Islamic Republic. They want to be an Islamic state. They want to, Mr. Imran Khan wants to establish um, the, a republic that looks like uh, the, the, the Risala of Medina, the prophets uh, Medina and follow the co covenant of Medina. Well, maybe he will step up and speak up against this misuse of, of the laws on blasphemy and even demand uh, that the laws on blasphemy be changed. But the biggest problem is the radicalization of the population, which is willing to take laws in their hand. Anywhere, not just in Pakistan, anywhere in the world where the public is willing to take laws in their hand and the government does not prosecute each and one of those vigilantes, each and one of those mobsters who goes out there and acts. There are two things it sends. One, that there is no law and order in the country. That's why people feel free that they can take the law in their hands. And number two, when these kind of vigilante exercises are done in the name of religion and the, the police and the government do not act on it, then the message that they are sending to their population is, go ahead, do it, you have our support. So I hope you found this short uh, commentary on this sad and uh, terrible episode in Pakistan useful and beneficial. Uh, so please subscribe to Conversations, like the video, uh, and do share it with your friends uh, and colleagues. This is Muhtadar Khan. Take care.